Hi, this is Carl, and I just have a couple notes this week. First, I'd love to have you sign up for the course we have coming up. It's a five-week course on the core standard operating procedures for technology professionals. That starts November 18th. If you sign up for the course in November, you can audit the course, the exact same course, in February for no additional charge. So if you want to just ask some different questions, get some different feedback, or just go over the material again, you're welcome to do so. Also, we have an Indiegogo campaign. I would love to have you take a look at that and look at things other than just getting a set of four amazing books on standard operating procedures. We have an option where you can get admission to the SMB online conference next year plus a set of books or admission to the SMB pre-day next year plus a set of books or admission to both of those plus a set of books or coaching and a set of books or lots of other options so please look for uh, the, the entire list of things that we have to offer and see if any of those make sense for you and your company next I would like to chat with you a bit about Pinterest if you haven't started using Pinterest I've got a little picture here it is an interesting program. It's, a, it's something where you pin pictures to a board. And you may have noticed that about six months ago, I started putting photographs, pictures, in all of my blog posts. So what happens is I put in the post, I put in the picture, and then I immediately pin it. So I grab a set of text, and I say pin it, and I choose the picture. It goes onto my board and then you see an example of uh, the board filled out with all these pictures it drives quite a bit of traffic to my site so take a look at that you're gonna need pictures that you can legally put on your site for that use so morgue file is one of the places you can get that another one is actually just google search you can limit the search to files that allow you to manipulate them and use them commercially on your website and here is a just a little quick demo of how you get that done alrighty so you're gonna start your search and let's say you put in a search term speakers and it comes up with your images or your search term you click on images and then you get images of speakers so now this is the all of the different things that will come up for that you go over to the settings way far on the right and you click advanced search and there you've got miscellaneous things that you can use to narrow down your search one of them is the license the usage rights and so down at the bottom look at the drop down and pick the one you want let's say that you might modify it or put it into a different background or whatever so you say free to use share or modify even commercially and then click advanced search now you get slightly different results but you also have an option here that says labeled for commercial reuse with modification so now when you look at different searches this will be an option until you close out of Google so uh, if you say earplugs it gives you a new search but this time it has this pre-selected as labeled for commercial reuse and modification this is really great for finding things that you can put on your blog and use for images on your blog well that's about it for this week thanks for tuning in and read the newsletter give me your feedback I always appreciate your support thank you